Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Black Musk by Jovan. Um, and this one, it says here for women, so I'm guessing there's for men. Anyway, um, this is what the box looks like. And then this is what the bottle looks like. Um, this is going to be pretty short. The accords on this, it's floral, musky, and powdery. And the notes were listed as floral and musk. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't. It was floral, it is musky, and it is powdery. But overall, it's very synthetic. It's very synthetic, and it's like kind of barely any of those things while being those things at once. I don't know if that makes any sense because, you know, I can smell some type of floral in there and they don't even say like specifically what floor, it just says florals. Um, yeah, I can detect some musk and it is a bit powdery. It, it is those things and it isn't, but what I can, um, for sure say, at least for, for what my nose picked up and for what I smelled on my skin. It's just overall, um, just very synthetic. Um, I was really disappointed in this. I love Jovan Musk, the original, the one with the orange cap. I love the, um, the white one with, with the white cap. I think it's just Jovan White Musk. I'm going to have to look again. Um, I have both. I love them. I definitely plan on repurchasing them. And I I like the, I think, is it Island Gardenia? Yeah, I like that one too. My my number one favorite is the one with the orange cap, which I will make um, its own video for that one. So, you know, I got that the orange cap one, and then I thought I am going to try it everyone they have and I was so excited for this one and then when I tried it I was so disappointed um I can't stand the opening I I can't even really describe what it smells like it's just heavy and musty to me and usually I love heavy scents but I didn't like the heaviness of this it just didn't work for me um once it dried down it became a little more tolerable for me. I'm talking like an hour or two or three afterwards. It was, it was tolerable. I still didn't like it. So, um, and when I smell this, like when I take the cap off and just smell it, um, you know, hold it up to my nose, it, it's, it's pleasant. It's still kind of a mystery scent to me because it's, it. It's just generic and synthetic, and I didn't really enjoy this at all. So would I would I buy this again? No, and I don't plan on using up the bottle. Um, and I would not be I, I would not buy this as a gift for for someone. Um, a lot of people said they liked it on, like, when you look through the reviews, it had positive reviews, just like everything else. It had positive reviews, it had negative reviews, but for me personally, this is going to be um, a big no. And then the other one that I have, ah, <laughs> the other one that I have is Jovan Silky Rose, and this one's going to be a no for me, too. Um, I don't have my notes with me, so... I'm not exactly, I don't exactly remember what was supposed to be in here, but I can tell you this doesn't smell like rose at all. I don't detect any rose in this. Um, here's what the bottle looks like. I kind of like the bottle. <laughs> I like this gold cap. I like, um, I like the look of it. Um, I didn't detect any rose. For me, this smelled like hairspray. It was just sticky and sweet and synthetic. Um, I was really surprised by these two because, like I said, the the original Jovan Musk with the orange uh, top, it's so lovely. It's so beautiful. Um, 
once I tried that one, I, I just was expecting all of them to be that way. And this was a, a disappointment for me. I, I would not buy this again. I don't plan on finishing the bottle and I wouldn't buy this as a gift, um, um, for anybody because, um, I just don't feel confident giving it. <laughs> um, once this was the same as the other one, I felt like I really hated the opening, but an hour or two or three into it, it, it became more bearable and it was, it was okay. It was okay, but it wasn't okay enough that I could see myself buying it and using this on a regular basis. It still had that 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 sticky sweet hairspray smell it it just wasn't as strong um and it was kind of softer and in the background but um it's still not a smell that i would want on me um i wanted to wear it for the entire day and i did and and honestly i just wanted to scrub both of them off um, I, I didn't enjoy these at all. Uh, once again, there are some people who liked it and there are some people who, who smelled it and had a totally different experience from what I did. And if you like perfume, like I do, you know that everyone has their own experience, I guess, when they try perfume, whether what they pick up or, or what it comes off as on the skin. Um, yeah, I was expecting like a really pretty rose with this and I just, none was detected. So I'm going to give both of these a no and I would not, I would not give these as gifts. Anyway, if you would like to comment down below and tell me if you had any experience with either one of these or which Joe Van is your favorite, I would love to hear it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.